College football is back and Old Dominion is the place to be tonight. The Monarchs welcome Virginia Tech in a huge season opening matchup. This is going to be amazing. You know, the last time Virginia Tech visited Norfolk, we know things went down really well. Memorable fashion for ODU. So can it happen again? News 3 Sports Director Mark Davis catching up with some former Monarchs who helped lead the silver and blue to its biggest victory. And Mark, bring us up to speed. Who do you have with you? Yeah, Blaine and Pari, we are less than an hour away from kickoff now. And the big question on all these fans' minds, will we see a repeat of 2018? That is when Old Dominion taking down Virginia Tech back in 2018 for the so far the only program win over a Power 5 conference opponent. The date? September 22nd, 0-3 Old Dominion welcoming Virginia Tech, ranked 13th in the country at the time. The two teams tied at 14 at halftime before a 28-point fourth quarter, powering the Monarchs to an upset 49-35 victory over the Hokies. To this day, their only win in 13 tries against Power 5 teams. Blake LaRussa, the quarterback for ODU, throwing for nearly 500 yards and scoring five total touchdowns. Nick Clark on the offensive line protecting LaRussa. The part that sticks out the most is, you know, just getting back to my locker and checking my phone. And I had like 150 text messages, which is totally unheard of. You would have thought I was starting quarterback at, you know, you would have thought I was Blake LaRusso or just won a national championship or something. It was crazy. I was speechless at the moment. I was, I was kind of, I was just amazed. I had kind of had an up and down journey myself at ODU. And so for me, it was just, wow. A few current Monarchs on the roster for that 2018 game, and we'll get the chance to take the field tonight. Well, the year before, the Hokies leaving a sour taste in the mouths of the Monarchs, shutting them out in Blacksburg 38 to nothing. Chesapeake native Brandon Addison, now an assistant coach at his alma mater, Western Branch, a defensive back on that 2017 squad. Addison on hand to see his former teammates avenge that loss and shock Virginia Tech. The guys on that team is pretty much the class that I came in with. Um, they were all seniors at that point. And just to see them go out there and be successful at home, too, where the uh, fans can back them up, it was, it was great. Addison and his Western Branch game was canceled tonight, so he can at least watch this game on TV if he can't make it down here. And Old Dominion fans who can make it hope to see another shocker. This will be the biggest crowd at Ballard Stadium since the 2019 season opener. And of course, a lot of these fans making their way into the stadium after an afternoon full of tailgating. Let's toss it now to News 3's Zach Staten, who spent his afternoon out with the fans, taking it all in. Zach, how's it going out there? Mark, you can start to see now fans are making the exodus from Coffin Mall over to SB Ballard Stadium, where kickoff's just 45 minutes away, about 45 minutes away from now. But everybody still as energetic as possible. The band is behind us, about to march their way over into the stadium as well. I've talked to both sets of fan bases throughout the day. Virginia Tech fans aren't nervous at all after that 2018 team game. Meanwhile, ODU thinks they've got what it takes to pull the upset off for the second time in just four years. Now, I talked to a couple of ODU athletic representatives. Those would be Jeff Jones. And he also said he thinks ODU is going to win, but he predicted a low scoring game. He said 18 to 16. We're yet to see if his prediction is correct, but he said he does enjoy a good defensive battle. Live here at Old Dominion, Zach Staten, News 3 Sports.